This talk is about simulating with flush to zero mathematics to avoid pains in safety critical workflows. Reducing needless precision to achieve speed and efficiency is a must have for a market leading embedded design. After all, your customers want designs that have the fastest response, longest battery life, and more. Flush to zero is a capability for optimal precision reduction. Fixed point designer is the model based design tool for precision optimization. Designer provides capabilities for achieving optimal precision reduction that plug seamlessly into model-based design workflows. A key benefit is early validation of design behavior by simulating with the reduced precision math that will actually be used on your embedded device. System level simulations actually require two distinct math environments. In this system level model, we show in yellow the portions of the design that will be generated into code that will run on your embedded device. That portion needs the math that will be used on the embedded chip. In turquoise are the rest that's the pure simulation typically of the analog world. It also includes the solvers. And for those, we want the nicest math we can get. Math environment mismatches can lead to pains in safety critical workflows. For example, a best practice in verification is to test that simulation behavior matches the behavior on the embedded chip. Even minor disagreements can be very painful. Safety critical workflows will often mandate laborious processes to justify these differences. A top cause of mismatch is floating point differences. The handling of denormal values is one of the biggest sources. There are two prime ways to handle denormals, gradual underflow and flush to zero. Denormal values are one of four floating point categories. Denormals serve very small values close to zero. The good side of them is they provide gradual underflow to zero, which is very nice for solvers. The bad side of them is that chip vendors typically skip providing dedicated high-speed circuitry. Instead, they'll slow down the processor when a denormal is encountered and use much slower microcode algorithms. Flush to zero is an alternate, faster way to handle denormal values. Most floating point math units provide two options for handling denormal results. The gradual underflow, as we've previously discussed, or flush to zero. This just sets a denormal result to zero immediately. It gives higher speed, but it reduces precision for very small values close to zero. Most embedded designs use flush to zero in order to get faster math. In our 2019A, Fixed Point Designer is providing a new feature that allows you to simulate with flush to zero mathematics for the embedded portions of your model and you can use gradual underflow for the other portions of your system level model. Let's now describe how to simulate with both gradual underflow and flush to zero. To do this, you need to configure each model and model block in your system level hierarchy. For system models, you want gradual underflow and normal mode simulation. For plant models and their children, you also want gradual underflow. For embedded models and their children, you want flush to zero and you want simulation mode to be accelerator, sill, or pill. To set the denormal behavior, you want to visit all the system level models and all the plant level models and set their math mode to gradual underflow. You also need to visit all the embedded models and set their math mode to flush to zero. Configuring the simulation mode has an important but subtle difference. On the top level system model, you want to set simulation mode to normal in the standard way. Next, you want to visit each system level model block, not model, but model block. And there, as shown in the dialog below, you set the model block to have normal mode simulation. You also need to visit each embedded model block. And there, you set the simulation mode of the model block to accelerator sill or pill. The plot on this slide shows an example of the dramatic differences that can occur due to flush to zero versus gradual underflow. Most differences are not that dramatic, but even small differences can make simulation versus cogen verification painful. So one of the values of the ability to simulate with flush to zero is simplified verification workflows and earlier discovery of problems.
In summary, in our 2019 Fixpoint point designer supports system level simulations with both gradual underflow and flush to zero 